What's going on, guys? Many moons ago, on an episode of Cursed Gun Images, we showed you this gun. I was quick to point out that's not actually a cursed gun image, but in fact a real weapon that was made called the Gyrojet. And I said if we got to a certain light goal that I would buy one and we would do a video dedicated to the Gyrojet. But we hit that goal and I bought one. I swear, like a year and a half ago. <laughs> We've been busy, we had a lot going on with the channel, we kinda, I forgot about it. But today it is my pleasure to show you the Gyrojet. Behold! My stuff. This bad boy is the real MBA Gyrojet rocket pistol, and today we're gonna shoot it. So now it's time to do our first white claw penetration test, really our first shot ever out of the Gyrojet Mark I. But you know, I feel like a piece of history like this deserves a little bit more high quality production, something to really capture exactly What's going on inside this thing? If only we had experts in high-speed footage, specifically ballistic high-speed. That's right, we've got the guys from Ballistic High Speed out here helping us out with a little bit of the slow-mo shots. So this should be one for the history book. So uh, that being said, inaugural round. A, let's see if it fires. B, let's punch a white claw. But well, before we get too far, let's answer the basic question, what is a gyrojet? And what is Aleppo? Well, to my understanding, in the 1960s, uh, there was a lot of weird prototypes. Weaponry was in a weird phase. And the government was looking into all sorts of things, including, you know, basically, <laughs> they wanted a ray gun. Along comes a company called MBA, and they're like, well, we don't have a fucking ray gun, but uh, I got a handgun that shoots rockets. And the government was like, hmm, it's not what we asked for. We'll have a thousand, please. Yes, this bad boy does not shoot traditional ammunition, but instead shoots projectiles like this. You see, there's no bullet, there's no casing. The entire thing is the projectile. It's got a primer in the back that ignites four distinct rockets. They're drilled in at an angle so that it actually spins and the rockets themselves rotate and stabilize the bullet in flight, meaning that there's no actual rifling in the barrel. And it's been told to me that despite being kind of weird, these bad boys can pack a serious punch. So let's find out. Three, two, one. Holy shit. It, <laughs> that was hot. That, that was like hot to shoot. What's that? It looked like a laser. Really? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to fucking see that. And it's, it's crazy, there's no ejection either. There's no fucking, it's all just one projo. That was cool. That was physically hot. Like I felt like somebody had a uh, a hair a hair dryer in my face for like half a second. Would I describe it as fun to shoot? Yeah. If it like, wasn't two hundred dollars like, a round, would you just go out to the range? And yeah. Shoot? Yo. Oh! Totally. <laughs> oh, real? Is it that cool? That looks fucking cool. All right, give me one second. All right, all right, all right. I can tell you this: if Bryce gets excited about it, it's gonna look pretty cool. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I look very nervous. Are you ready? Holy oh, shit! Oh yes! That is awesome. You can see the heat waves. You can see it accelerating. So what were you just saying about what uh, the internet says about the gyrojet at close range? So I've read a few times that the gyrojet's not lethal within like 10 yards or so, just because it takes so long for the projectile to accelerate. I don't know, that looked like it hit it pretty good. It split the white claw cannon in half. So I'm going to have pretty decent. I wouldn't want to be downrange from it. I think a lot of it's probably the actual jet going through liquid. Yeah. That just. And you oh. can see it coming out of the gun. I haven't seen that footage yet, though. I know, but they're freaking out like a bunch of fucking apes. So I'm really curious now. Ape together strong. Ape together strong. Holy shit. <laughs> what is it doing? That is the most beautiful white claw penetration test we have ever done. Yeah, because it's spiraling, because that's what stabilizes that's it, I think. So, cool. so we just had our big range day, and Ballistic Dummy Labs was nice enough to leave out some uh, gel blocks, some of those, uh, some of that fake titty gel, here for us to shoot with the gyrojet and capture 
for all of history, uh, for firearm development history, exactly what this does to a gel block at super high speed. I'm super excited to get this footage. So from what we were able to tell, this gun is actually remarkably quiet. Uh, I, enough so that I think I'm gonna try it without ear pro because I think it might even be hearing safe with no suppressor, no anything. Which makes sense because right out of the barrel, you know, it, it doesn't reach the sound barrier. So uh, we're gonna try it, see if it's hearing safe. Uh, that might be a mistake, but I already have to sleep with a fan on high, so it's, I can't lose much more. The shit I do for science for you guys, I'll tell you. Firing in three, two, one. That one, I think, misfired at some degree. Because that, that burned my hand. We're literally watching the high speed to figure out what the fuck happened. Oh, yeah, I see the trace. It's right here on the very side and then out. Yeah, I, I, could, I felt it right there in the magazine where my finger was right here. I felt that burn, which is why <laughs> safety first, we're wearing gloves. Now, if you're wondering where I got the protected gloves I'm wearing in this video, I got it from my monthly tack pack. Don't look at this. This is mine. Get your own. Just kidding. With tack pack, you can get stuff like sweet swag. Razor electronic earmuffs, so you don't have to sleep with the big ee like I do. Air 15 grips, a sweet tumbler that'll get you stopped at TSA. Laser rangefinder, Raptor charging handle, ambient AR safety, and totally not a can of Zins. You get all sorts of stuff like this on a monthly basis just for signing up with TechPack. And new subscribers can use code AKGUY to get an extra box of sweet tactical goodness. So check them out using the links in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate them sponsoring the video. Back to the gyro jet. How was it for your ears behind it? Uh, it wasn't very bad over there. Dude, honestly, it wasn't bad. Like, I wouldn't say necessarily hearing safe, but honestly, like, I've heard suppressed weapons that were louder than that. Yeah, you could tell that one took a weird angle, weird turn. <laughs> Totally see the acceleration. Yeah, the rip. That definitely looked like not all of the jets fired, or something weird happened with it. You see, it barely hit. It barely penetrated and then skipped out, kind of like me. Oh, all right, that's kind of oh. cool. It destabilized so hard. Yeah. It almost like it, it almost righted itself though, if you looked at it. Yeah. Like it was trying to keep going. Like that forward momentum was keeping it straight. Because it, it went way up, but it also like tried to tip back down. Look at like the discoloration after firing it in the very back, like by the firing pin. You could tell this thing's seeing some heat now. I don't know if this thing's ever been fired before just by looking at it. Now a quick how to use the gyro jet, just in case you know you ever are in a survival situation and the only thing you've got to defend yourself is a prototype rocket pistol. You never know, weirder things have happened. This is a Gyrojet Mark I. It's actually a pretty early one, judging by the serial number A023. Our hammer is internal, so you see this right here? Instead of being in the rear, the hammer is in the front, and it's set like so, so that when you fire it, it releases and pushes forward on the projectile, which, push up our loading gate here, it actually pushes the projectile backward onto the firing pin, which is recessed back in here. So that strikes the primer, ignites the rockets, and it pushes it out, which then resets the hammer. This here is actually the follower, and this uh, little tab here is how you can load the magazine in the body of the handle, like so. Here's your safety, it's pretty easy, on and off. Now you're killing, now you ain't. So that, my friends, is pretty much everything you need to know to operate a gyro jet rocket pistol. Firing, three, two, one. Whoa. All right. Uh, How the fuck? Still gonna ignite? That is liquefied. No, no, there's no, there's no rockets behind it. There's no motor. That's crazy. Okay, so it literally just stuck in the front. You can tell it went in about yay far, and then came back out. What the shit? Sometimes failures are cooler than successes. Right. Couldn't have planned that. You sound like my parents. <laughs>
They're like 150, 200 bucks per round. Meaning that this is like 20 times more expensive to shoot per round than a 50 cal. I felt that one again. That was a fucking clean one. Yes. That was, that was money. That's the money shot there. That was the money shot. What? Is oh God. That? Get up in there. This is IMAX for you, come on. That is weird. Oh, man. That is the only projectile I've ever seen do anything like that. It's so stable for so long. That's actually kind of more stable than some just regular projectiles I've it's, seen. Well, it still has force pushing against its stabilization surface. Yeah. That extra distance definitely gained some speed. Oh, that thing went, <laughs> that thing went up and over. That oscillation is what we heard. It was like, <laughs> Yeah, I remember hearing that it sounded like fucking Looney Tunes. We hitting a dummy head now? Yeah, I think, uh, oh, no. Adam, you want to do it? I think that rocket's small enough, I can take it. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously never done this. Walk me through what we're doing here. Yeah, so we're gonna just take the, the little projectile here, load it through the little side gate, like so. And of course, the hammer here is already forward. That's gonna push this back, and then it's gonna ignite it. It's basically just like a miniature rocket. 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 <laughs> Firing in three, two, one. <laughs> you do get a, a right? wave. It feels hot, right? It does, yeah. Felt like I was driving through Africa again. <laughs> yeah. I hit a little below the ear. Did it go through? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. Well, right right out through thing. the jaw. And you can see behind the skull is very clearly fractured. Oh, well, thanks for letting me shoot it. No, dude, of course. <laughs> thanks for coming out, man. Yeah. I didn't realize it was going to be that heavy, and I'm kind of glad it was because I think I kind of like dipped it a little. I think I dipped a little, and I was like, okay, hold on. You can be scared later. Get the shot done. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh my! You took God. bones off. Look how wide it is. Wow. Oh, look at that jaw drop. Oh, yeah. That kind of looked like. You I was just gonna RPG. say you've looked like that before. <laughs> Jesus. Not even that. kidding. Now by now you're probably thinking, dude, the gyro jet is really cool, but there's no way the sucker actually saw any sort of service, right? It's where you might be wrong. In fact, there are photos of gyro jets floating around Vietnam, including one being held by a Medal of Honor recipient meaning that there is a non-zero percent chance that a gyrojet was carried in Vietnam by a Medal of Honor recipient during the actions that got him his Medal of Honor. Do I have proof for that? Absolutely not, other than the photo. Is it my head cannon? Yes, absolutely it is. Speaking of head. Three, two, one. I started the flinch, but I corrected. That was a good trigger bolt. Firing in three, two, one. Hey, that's what we're after. Ooh. There we go. We're going to need to wash off Demo's table here. Look at that. Check it out. He's still fucking squirting. He's a, he's a little squirty boy. Wait, you found it? I found it. What the shit? Yeah. It was sitting right on top. No shit. Yep. There you go. It's right there. And it is hot. Cool. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, is that yeah. another one? I think that's another one. No. Nah. Oh, wait. It, is it? It totally is. Oh, it totally fucking is. Holy yeah. shit. That is mushroomed like crazy right up. Yeah, that is very hot. I did not expect to recover any of these. This is uh, pretty So neat. what we need to do, if you're okay with it, yeah. is get an ultra high speed <laughs> muzzle exit. You know, actually yep. see this rotating slowly. Absolutely. You wanna do that? Yeah, sure, okay. whatever you need. Sweet. Three, two, one. 
Ow, bitch. That was the first uh, real fucking malfunction. Holy shit, look at this. You ever wanted to see what the inside of one of these rounds looks like? There you go. God damn. Check that out, that's plastic. Back of the rocket, uh, where the rocket motors are. Primer blown out. Oh yeah, wow. That little piece popping out. Yeah, but I mean, we can see definitely nothing came out, so. Yeah, that's wild. Did it hurt? Yeah. Oh, the little piss baby, did your fucking did, widow rocket did, blow up? Did your widow rocket blow oh. up in the tube? <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go. Better? Much better. Buttering. Oh, you can actually see it activate. That's crazy. Three, two, one. There we go. Is that a good shot? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Felt like it. A little bit heavy on the burn, but yeah, whatever. Well, that's a that's a bit problematic. I thought that spell that felt like a spicy fucking round. Where were you literally aiming? My my point of aim was like right here. That's hot. Yep, that's I think it. we found it. I found it. Holy shit. I can't believe that was the barrel. Dude, what is keeping this barrel in? Nothing, apparently. Is it just a press I mean, I don't, see, I don't see any pin grooves, any shoulders. The only thing I see is that little tab there that's like a little, like maybe that was folded over holding it in. Like you look at, there's something oh, yeah. at the very bottom that looks that's, like it retained it? That's exactly what that was. It was just a little tiny tab. Are you serious? That's... I, I think they were expecting the barrel to not see any force. That's a terrible design. Well, I mean, that checks out with clearing the malfunction a minute ago. It was designed as though it was never going to have a malfunction. Mm. It was very difficult to get it out. Well, I mean, that looks simple enough to make a new one just to have it. Yeah, we can rebuild her. We have the technology. Yes. Oh, there's your, uh, there's your gun-shaped object back. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, the rocket's still in the stuck in the barrel. Yeah. Oh, I have no idea how that happened. That looks like those videos when they unclog the sewers and just the log coming out. <laughs> well, for the time that we had a functional gyro jet, I'm glad we were able to capture so much high speed footage because you know, these things really are just pieces of history that there are not a lot of these around. The ammunition is basically non-existent. So the fact that we were able to capture it on high speed yeah. is all thanks to you guys. Yeah, so thank got, you so much. We've got cool muzzle exits. We got gel blocks, which is very traditional. We've got ballistic dummy heads. We even got a failure. Like what else could you get in one day with a driver jet? Yeah, I mean, realistically. true. Yeah. We just appreciate you guys being on the channel. If you guys are not familiar, these are the ballistic high speed gentlemen. They have a YouTube channel. Uh, they've got a history with rockets. If you haven't been able to tell with the innuendo, uh, you should definitely go check them out. We just appreciate you guys being on the channel, guys. Cool. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for really. having us. Yeah. No, of course. Cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Here Run. Run. Sorry, I broke it in your toy. <laughs> you are 0 for 2 on rockets, my friend. I, I am 0 for 2 on rockets. <laughs> <laughs>